So how does the VSS Imagine really demonstrate innovation here in its design? The design is pretty amazing. So walk us through some of the highlights of this spaceship. Well, you called out, Baker, the, the livery on the Spaceship 3 class, this first one is VSS Imagine, is, is just stunning. Uh, it is mirrored to reflect the environment. Uh, we've seen it in some of the lighting we've done already, and we can't wait to see this up in the skies and in space to see what happens. But a lot of the design and the innovation happens under the hood for us. And we've taken the years of learning through our flight test with our first spaceship, Unity, and embedded into the engineering of this third class of spaceships. And so uh, the big place that really matters is we can now uh, find ways to maintain and uh, have the ship fly more quickly than we were able to do before. And that's really, really critical because we want to fly these lots of times every year and bring you know, a lot of people up to space. And you guys are also targeting about 400 flights per year per spaceport. We know the price tag on these things a little bit pricey. Michael, is the expectation that over time that those prices are gonna to start to come down? Well, we are really set up, the purpose of the company is to open up space for everyone. Uh, and that of course means everyone needs to be able to be able to aspire up here. Now at the beginning, as often with industries, uh, it's expensive, you know, space is an audacious effort. The physics are really hard and the engineering has to step up to that. But as we scale our fleet, uh, as we build out towards 400 flights per spaceport, and now we get multiple spaceports around the world, we do expect the economies of scale will kick in and we can start to bring the price back down. So. Uh, it, it will be pricey at first, and I, I think that's uh, understandable at the launch of an industry like this. But you've seen how the cost curves come down in other industries, and we expect that to happen in spaceflight as well. Uh, Michael, I've heard Richard Branson talk about this incredible sort of chrome design that's on this. Essentially, is saying, you know, kids or people would be able to see the spaceflight, you know, from here on the ground from outer space, and that's why this, the, the, the look was so shiny. It, was that true? And give us some specifics as to why you guys chose this outlook on this. You know, a lot of times beauty really starts in engineering and the material that we're using on the ship is part of the thermal protection system for the ship itself. Uh, it was so glorious when we saw it in the sun, uh, we made a design choice to extend it across the entirety of the ship. And so Richard's right, this will just be a spark of light as it's going up. And I think it will be really brilliant to watch from the ground and it'll be incredibly brilliant to be up in it looking back on the earth. Is the expectation here is that the Inspire is sort of laying the groundwork, Michael, for future iterations of, of different models of this, or are you fully expecting that this is gonna be the spacecraft that people are gonna be using? So uh, this will be the spacecraft that people use, but the Spaceship 3 series, if you will, the class, uh, is really a step forward for us. Uh, the big thing it's doing is allowing us to maintain these more quickly so that each spaceship can fly more times a year. But they're still relatively slower to build. And so we've already launched a fourth generation program, uh, the Delta class of spaceships, and those will really be the production model. And that's where we can start to move manufacturing of multiple spaceships at a time. That will be how we build up the fleet in New Mexico. And that will be then how, when we move to other spaceports around the world, we'll be ready to bring a fleet of ships to them very quickly and uh, really get this scaled up. Uh, Michael, obviously the investment in space right now, incredibly massive. You have interest from private companies, you've got public companies, you've got the federal government as well. What are you looking forward to in regards to the future of this industry right now? Because there's a lot to be excited about. There's an incredible amount of just amazing things happening in space across a variety of components of this industry. Now Virgin Galactic is focused on human space flight. And what I'm most looking forward to is this becoming normalized. I think most of us look at this and not long ago would have said, well, that's never going to happen in my lifetime. And yet here we are today and it is happening. And I think the more people are going to space, the more uh, people say, ah, you know what? I can do that too. I'm aspiring to that. It may take a number of years, uh, but this is something that's in my own future. And we're really working towards that as the goal of the company.